Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Hackintosh or Mac on a PC basically. Um, now this part of the video is going to be the parts that you need. So you're going to need um, a couple of things. You're going to need pretty much everything that you have with a normal computer. Uh, a case, a power supply, um, hard drives, preferably SATA in this case. Um, and you're going to need a couple of specific things like motherboards and video cards. So we're going to start by uh, showing you what I picked when I was building my Hackintosh. So I have, um, first you're going to need a USB stick, um, 8 gigabytes because um, that's how big the Snow Leopard image is. Then you're going to need a Snow Leopard DVD, uh, just a $29 upgrade will work just fine. Um, what you're going to do actually is restore it onto that flash drive. So uh, once we have that we can push that out of the way. And then you're going to need your video card. Now I picked the GeForce 9500GT. It's a really powerful card for uh, just everyday use. Um, can play HD videos like nothing. Uh, yeah, it's got DVI or two, DVI, two DVIs. And then it can output VGA if you need that. So uh, yeah, you just get the card and that's PCI Express. 16. Um, then you're going to need a gigabyte motherboard. Now these gigabyte motherboards are um, the most compatible with um, Macintosh pretty much. Um, I got the EP45 UD3 and UD3R and um, let's see it supports Core 2 Quad at the max um, but I use the Pentium Dual Core. Um, I'm not sure which model it was but any Intel Core 2 Duo, Core 2 Quad, or Dual Core, Pentium Dual Core will work just fine. Um, yeah, and it's just a regular motherboard that uh, you could get a fancy case for it to make it look more like a Mac. But I think it's pretty cool, so um, now I'll show you how to set it up. Alright, so now we're going to show you how to get Macintosh running on a PC. So you're going to need... Um, a couple of things. You're gonna need a computer with Macintosh already on it so you could use your friend's computer or uh, some other alternative and you're gonna need your USB drive like I have here and your Snow Leopard DVD which we already restored to a DMG and it's on the desktop right here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and insert our USB stick. Alright we inserted our USB stick and now we'll just go over to disk utility we'll open up disk utility then we'll just go over to partition then we'll make it one partition and we can make it like Mac install or something like that And then Mac OS Extended Journal, then hit Options, make it a Guide Partition Map, or GUI Partition Map, hit Apply, hit Partition. Alright, it's going to unmount it, and then it's going to start partitioning it. And keep in mind, this is your 8GB flash drive that you're going to install to. And um, so you pretty much just insert your install DVD, and then... Once your Snow Leopard install DVD is on here, you can just restore that to a um, uh, DMG. So you just go ahead and hit New Image. Then you'll come up with the Snow Leopard DMG or whatever you called it, and you're gonna go over to that, double click it, then it's gonna mount it. You can skip the verification. Now we'll close that, and right here you'll see that will have the Mac OS X install DVD. So we can go over here to our Mac install that we just made with our USB stick and now we'll go to the restore tab and for our source you'll just drag Mac OS X install DVD over into the source and for our destination you'll just drag over uh, Mac install so you can go ahead and click erase destination and then you should go ahead and hit restore all 
Alright, so I'm going to pause the video because it does take a little bit of time depending on how fast it can write to your flash drive. Alright, so it finished uh, restoring that to the DVD, so you can go ahead and close that. Um, Alright, so see, here's our USB drive, and then there's our installer. We'll minimize that. Um, here's the Snow Leopard pack that has all the stuff. Um, thanks to this one guy called Doom342 or 42, he's on Insanely Mac. Um, it's a website pretty much dedicated to Macintosh. And um, so I'll include, um, I'll put this on my website, the SL pack. And um, so what you want to do is now that we have our installation. Um, See, we can go ahead and unmount um, our uh, install DVD. And now this should be our flash drive, if I'm correct. Yes, this is our flash drive. Okay, so close that. And we, we open up our SL pack, and you'll have PC EFI 10.1. Just want to double click that, continue, hit continue again. And now we just have to pick our um, USB drive. Make sure that you don't pick your actual Max hard drive or screw it up. And click continue, install, hit OK. Alright. Now, if we open up this, you'll see that we will have a directory called extra there it is alright now in our SL pack we'll have um, an extra for folder as well we'll just go ahead and copy everything over so highlight that edit copy and then edit now it just copied all those folders and that those are necessary in order to boot um, your Mac install so um, now we can pretty much restart so let's go ahead and restart here We'll go into our BIOS by hitting delete, I think it is. Alright, so we'll go to advanced BIOS features, then hard disk boot priority, put the Kingston one or your USB drive on top, and then we should go to integrated peripherals and then um, ICH SATA control mode change that to AHCI if you don't it won't work so um, then SATA port native mode enabled and then just go ahead and hit F10 hit enter and now should restart alright let it reboot now you should get this thing that's kind of new. Now it'll verify. And here you go. So you have um, your Mac OS X install DVD. You won't have this Mac option, but I do. Um, just go ahead and hit that. Now it's going to load up the installer. So this is retail. So it's exactly like you would see on an actual Mac. So I'll go ahead and pause it because it does take a little bit of time to boot up the installer.